Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. We live in pretty crazy times. There is so much going on in the world that affects us and you know things that we have no control over. And when we feel um, a little bit unhappy or, or lonely, it's sometimes hard to get a positive uh, perspective on things. And it's easy to blame someone else and to blame the outside world for all of our challenges. And I think that this is one of the biggest um, barriers to feeling happy in our 50s and 60s and, and, and beyond. And I think that one thing that we can do if we are overwhelmed by a problem that's you know, out of our control, rather than blaming someone else, you know, it's, just, it's the fault of the government or a friend or um, you know, a situation or work, that we actually, instead of you know, not blaming anyone, just eliminate the concept of blame altogether and just try to look at uh, the situation in a positive through a positive lens and take proactive steps you know take positive steps forward to deal with what you can control I mean there are some things that you just can't but the things you can control are the ones that you know will make you feel better so for example if you are trying to lose weight I mean you can say that you know it's a, it's a result of additives they put in the food or the fact that that's all you can get in the neighborhood when you're you know when you're at work um, or you know you just can can blame someone else or you can take one step at a time you know you can make your lunch you can you can um, you know d dedicate yourself to losing one pound or to, to feeling stronger, you know, rather than trying to say, oh, I need to lose 20 pounds, but I'll never do it because of something else. I think it's really important to stop that attitude of, um, you know, if only the world would change or if only something outside of me would change, I would be okay. It's better to take control of what you can and one step at a time. You know, little steps lead to big changes and I'm a great believer in that strategy. Also, for example, money. Money is a big um, concern for a lot of people and understandably, I mean, it's really difficult. Things are more expensive and, you know, a lot of people in as they get older and retire are on budgets and uh, a pension or, or uh, social security and uh, or you're winding down in a job and it's just a little bit um, uns uns certain as to what you know how you're going to cope so one thing you can do to take control rather than blaming someone outside of you which is obviously the easy thing to do <laughs> is to actually really work on a budget and you know a budget that is realistic and that is um, you know honest I think that's a really important with money is to be honest with yourself and be honest with your um, with your family or people who um, you know there's a relationship to that money and and just budget yourself so that you're living realistically and in a way that uh, that brings you happiness I mean, I know this is sounding a little bit you know um, uh, impractical that there are the real situations outside that it's easy to feel contribute you know to the situation that we're in but taking positive steps in those areas that we can control I think is really important so um, what is the one thing in your life that you would like to change and how are you going to approach it? What, is the, what are the proactive steps that you can take? Rather than blaming someone else outside of you, what are you going to do to make it better? Because ultimately, this is where it stops, right? You have to find a way to manage your life in a positive way and be happy. And be happy in your, in your 50s and 60s. I'd love to know what you think about this topic. Um, go to the website and take a look at the article. We go into a bit more detail about this issue and leave your comments there. Leave your feedback and how you're managing, how, what steps you're taking to make those changes in your life that will you know, increase your happiness. Look forward to the conversation. Thanks everyone for being here. Take care.